Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. If you're enjoying the show, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review. Good day. I am Dr. Daniela Stein. I'm a medical doctor. I'm a mother of three busy, busy kids. And I've gone through three different periods in my life where I suffered from burnout. I'm here to teach you today how to recover from burnout. I understand how you feel. Believe me, it's a place where I don't want to be again. And it, it took me such a long time to work my way out. So I really want to share what I did to recover from burnout in my life. You know, as a busy mom with young kids, working full time as a doctor, working in the emergency department, delivering babies overnight, having a full practice, things just spiraled so quickly down. But, but I learned from that and I'm able to teach you today what to do to prevent burnout in your life. And if you are in that dark, dark pit, how to heal from burnout. You're going to be so glad you did. First step, seek professional help. Talk to your doctor, see a psychologist, see your primary care provider. It is so important to prioritize your well-being, prioritize yourself, seek help. Then after you've seen your doctor and your doctor told you, this is burnout, you should just work through it. That's where I come in. I really want to help you to work through it with these easy five steps. First, start journaling. It's very, very hard to recover if you're not intentional and you don't know what drains you, what builds you up. So at the end of the day, write down something that drained the life out of you today and something that gave you joy. Next one, exercise. I am passionate about exercise. I'm an endurance athlete. I do triathlon. I teach my clients that's the best way to get rid of stress is because when you're stressed up, your body secretes adrenaline and cortisol. Those hormones keep your brain up at night. If you go for a proper walk every day, you burn up adrenaline, you burn up cortisol so that your brain can relax. Your body secretes endorphin, serotonin that makes you feel good. However, the caveat, someone like me, who trains excessively during times of burnout, I have to cut back on my exercise because my exercise is too hard for my body. I, I developed a whole burnout course on how to develop, how, how to recover from burnout. You can work through that course on your own to see where you fall in the scale with advice how best to recover from burnout for you in your specific situation. Next one, sleep. Sleep is your body's natural way to re help your body to heal, how you should nurture your body. I also have a blog and a YouTube video on this. The links are below. Read up and find out more how you can best nourish your body to heal. The last step, meditate. This is going to be a game changer for you. If you are new to meditation, you can look at my blog, you can look at my YouTube video, podcast, how to meditate. There's different apps you can use. Abide is a good app. 10% Happier is a good app. One I advise to my patients often is Headspace, especially for little kids. I use it for my kids as well, Headspace. I'm so excited that you want to invest in your own health, in yourself to heal from burnout. I want to journey with you. Please like and subscribe to this YouTube video and register to my, for my course on burnout today. You can do it online in the convenience of your own home on your phone. You can heal from burnout. You can get through this. I got through this. I've helped many patients get through this. I want to help you.